all right you're welcome back from the break you know before the break i was telling you that we have an amazing guest here with me in the studio nobody wants to be sad trust me i hate sadness with the whole of my life and today i just want to embrace peace and happiness so with uh, uh how will i say with sparkles and applaud roses let's usher in an hour, our amazing guest here in the studio hi ghana Hi, thank how you, are you for joining me. I'm fine, thank, thank you. Thank you very you. much. Yeah, have fun. I've been more, more, more feel like the whiskey. It's more, yeah, yeah. It's Link, important, you yeah. know. <laughs> nice to be here. Yeah, same here. Like, yeah. it's a pleasure having you, you know. Like, I just want to be happy. I want to smile. And I just like the fact that you have this lovely dimples that when, you just, when I just look at your face, like, I just want to smile. Yes, it serious? feels like I have the dimples too. I don't know. I don't my, know how real. <laughs> my fine boy, no pimples, only no, dimples. At no, all, no, there's no pimples, actually. Yeah, well, it's see dimples. <laughs> Don't worry yourself. Once I enter the industry, whiskey go wrong. No, you go wrong. No, you go tired. This is the lyrics. Fine boy, no pimples, only dimples, dimples. no wrinkles. Ah! Wow! Now me get a monotif for if it's for like blackface, you hear what? Oh my God, that's really nice. Maybe yeah. you should also step in from the comedy, mm -hmm. get into um, the music. And yes, you know, I said, I told everybody, they are going to smile today. Mm. Comedian, an MC, OAP. And it... An artist, he's a music artist like now. I've, I've, I've uh, no, signed no. him into my level. No, no, leave that one. You know, say you they do where you they do when I they take first, first you take a moto go and then I invite her the bouncer. <laughs> that artist to live and live. I can okay. I can just say that lyrics. I you can know? Say so that's the only lyrics you have then. Uh, for now. For now. <laughs> you know, we'll be upcoming for music. Okay, okay, that's <laughs> great. You can just be like Rema the next minute, so we're fine because <laughs> Okay, so coming to you now, maybe I, I think you should share a little bit about yourself. Tell us your journey, mm -hmm. what inspired you. Let's get to know you, like, like I want to know you personally. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, my name is Peter Obudu, popularly known as Ghana. Right now, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Ghana, yeah. So there, there is a whole lot of rebranding right mm -hmm. now around that. Okay, so you get to know about it. It's Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. <laughs> G A N A. <laughs> so a lot of people used to know me as Ghana must go here. So I'm going to tell us all of that story. Yeah. Like I said, um, Peter Obudu, um, I'm Urobo from Delta State, Warri, precisely. Mm -hmm. Of course, my early days in school, primary school, secondary school, basically in Warri. Yeah, then, um, so my journey. Um, the whole thing started while I was in primary school, really. I was playing oh. football. Then I love to act, you know. Yeah. We're doing this kind of, you know, when you want to do something in school, you just add this small, small yeah, play, you know. Yeah, that was how it started with acting. Then got into secondary school, and um, um, as a then, I, I schooled with I Go Save, okay. I Go Die. We're both in same secondary school, then I go die, die. Moved, yeah, to <laughs> that was amazing. Sorry, <laughs> I go save, I go die. Like, yes. when I die, I get saved. Okay, that's so perfect. the both of them were, were like very good friends. Then yeah. they used to do what they call mock news, they, okay. really, they yeah, do yeah, like this yeah, mock yeah, news yeah. stuff, yeah. So, um, we're there together, MC Shaggy now in Lagos, mm -hmm. and a host of all, all that, yeah. yeah. So, we, we belong to this particular social club in school they call it the svc social variety mm -hmm. club okay. and of course we also have plads mm -hmm. press literary art debating dramatic society oh wow that's yeah. a great school yeah mm -hmm. so at the beginning yeah we had a lot we we're doing together way back in secondary school of course that for us that was like you know the beginning of the journey mm -hmm. these social society actually helped in shaping us you know giving some kind of you know way for us understanding mm -hmm. what it means to be an entertainer yeah. and a lot of that yeah so we started way back in secondary school then we left secondary school went to our institution federal polytechnic Auchi. yeah that was where the whole <laughs> idea <laughs> of um, entertainment actually oh, now nice. began to have its shape yeah. yeah so again while i was in secondary school um, I never thought I was going to do entertainment. I was a good footballer. Wow. I played ball like eh? Yeah. Jag of all things. Yes. I played <laughs> football like so I have I have one very beautiful history. I was like yeah. the first young boy to be signed 
in secondary school oh, wow. club yeah, signed yeah, from incredible. one place to another. Yeah. Oh my God. Then it wasn't common, you mm-hmm, know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I got that. A club signed me from Wari to Ugele. So it's just like you're in Abuja and a mm. club in Kefi signing yeah, you. I... So weekend they move me and all that. But at yeah. some point my mom wasn't comfortable with me playing football because my late elder brother also played football. football. And mom she was like, Oh, football not carry and go anywhere. Mm-hmm. So this football leave them. Yeah. focus on your education yeah. of course as an educationist she was a principal yeah. yeah teacher then then um she said focus on your studies then i got into how she then i kind of lost interest in football so getting into how she yeah still wanted to do entertainment i joined the club called the mistral theater troupe okay. and of course we started now um ghana must go that name ghana must go then actually um originated from um a concert we did way back in school so okay. there was this thing we we're doing we call um, most struggled man on campus so what people do during that competition you have guys come out they just you know rip off their jeans and they yeah, just want okay. to i was just as a comedian i was like it's not gene carnival it's most struggled man i wanted mm, to do something rugged, different right. yeah so i love to cook so i used to have oh. these Ghana must go bags okay. that I used to bring food Post from up. exactly oh, so I had yeah. a lot of them so I wanted to do something different what I did was just to loosen the whole bag took them to um, a tailor, tailor and say I want you to make a shirt and a trouser oh wow uh, okay I know where the name came from <laughs> yes. and the guy was like how so I liked to him I said a person don't do one before for yeah. worry now oh but you feel wrong now <laughs> and so it was a challenge for him he picked it up he made shirt made trousers then i used the hand of the ghana must go right. took it to a shoemaker we don't nana shoe cobbler yeah you know i asked them to do a sander <laughs> so instead of using the <laughs> the leather you know so they used the ghana must go yeah, and to just to, make the like the shoes exactly oh my god and that was so that I, I came out um on that contest we're about 15 or there about i was like the fifth or sixth person on that contest oh that was like way back in 2002. oh that was a long time yeah when was i 2002 yeah mm-hmm. immediately i came out student didn't understand first what i was what, wearing yeah, phone I, wasn't yeah. rampant at the True, time yeah. yeah so people were like oh, waiting this guy we're waiting we we're oh oh ah Ghana, ah, the Ghana must go back to use oh, <laughs> the old place went a golf and yeah. trust me yeah. that was not what i was using as my stage name before okay. i was using an abbreviation of my Your name. Tra- my, my traditional okay. name yeah okay. so um people were like oh okay ah this guy comedian yeah Ghana must go ah Ghana must go back go oh, Ghana must go back go oh. And because I was used to this lifestyle, I was just in front of my department, the theater, the part, um, um, theater hall. Yeah. I did mass communication. Okay. I would just stay there, and I like teasing people. Once girls they pass, I go yap them. <laughs> so some guys when they just be they no good. They'll come give me money, say if she they pass, yeah, bam. You know, so oh, I would just yap. So it wasn't a job. <laughs> so students who just window. wanted. <laughs> That actually yeah, but for, for worrying, it was fun. Yes, for worrying, yeah. I have been with just that comedy, you know. So people right. wanted to get back at me with like, mm. I bet comedy, comedy, I where Ghana must go back. Right. Ghana must go. So, so the right. name Ghana must go actually stuck with students getting to call me Ghana yeah. must go. Oh, so that's, that's yeah, that was how the, the old turn started. And then I got into Abuja, then the hustle for comedy start, and the name stuck. But yeah, over time, I just felt like, come on, you know. I should do a rebranding, well, you know, for 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 global acceptability. Yeah, acceptability. Yes. Um, right. Sometimes I do videos, I post online, people like it, and I have some of my fans from Ghana like, oh, you just reminding us of you know what happened way back when Nigeria yeah. did to Ghana. Even though for me, I didn't feel like what we did to Ghana was. Right. We, we were just big brother True. who wanted uh, a child you know yeah, or right. their siblings to, to grow I said, so we said, look you can do better mm-hmm. do you understand so, so far it was a challenge mm-hmm. and after we did back ghanaians went back mm-hmm. they realized they could do better and today yeah. the economy of ghana i mean it's great, it's great. Yeah. so that's the journey we got into abuja the who also start and we're here today well like genuinely that's like a good like a it, it's like a good story i'll call it story it's a journey yeah. but then like it's it's impressive to look out for your journey that you could start this life you already knew from the onset mm-hmm. that this is what you want and even though there's some kind of diversion something exactly. came up but like like you kept 
focusing like you focused on the journey i think it's quite impressive like the name ghana must go it just suits the story exactly. Ghana, if you, anybody that will listen to be like oh oh okay okay mm -hmm. i don't need no explanation and I, I think that is basically great now coming into the industry you know like i know that like we are living in a society mm -hmm. where a lot is happening a lot is going on a lot of people are sad a lot of mm -hmm. people are depressed you know i just i just saw a story of this this woman um that her son was crying um what was the son what, what was it I, like genuinely I, I skipped but i think it trended a whole lot mm -hmm. and stuff and she had to kill herself like she she, she, she commit committed suicide, suicide and all of that. yes she's from benin I, I guess yeah from benin, benin. today yeah she's not benin and or benin republic no nigeria, nigeria, not the nigeria to die she's from edo state are you serious yes and it, i can't remember the the that but a little boy i think mm. he was she was trying to spank beat the boy and okay. he was begging her and stuff and like it's 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 so sad mm. and she refused to speak to anybody about what she's going through her mm. challenges you know a lot of people are going through things yeah. i know that before i was sharing with you like yesterday i was like oh my god i just want to cry but i don't look at myself and say i don't deserve to cry i just need to be happy because everybody is going through one thing ah, you say you <laughs> come you say you come here for your car you go to the lake because the lake the water does the reduce <laughs> <laughs> so somebody told me that honestly the same thing he said mm. one of my friends would say i will never drive go to the <laughs> <you go>, <laughs> that? Hey. so like okay now coming to the um, um comedy aspect mm. now what can what have comedian done mm. you as a person let's say you, what have you done what have other people done to make sure that they try to uh, look out for people because if god has placed this talent this mm. gift in you yeah. that's because god sees what you have yeah. god sees your attraction because if you're not attractive people won't come to you Definitely. so like talking about the society now how can comedy help to figure out things like that because a lot is happening you and when you check it is young people yeah okay yeah so um of course believe me i would say that most especially nigerian comedians who, who've done a lot from mm. the guys making skits mm. to you know doing the stand-up comedy mm. and those doing like um the actors yeah to, they do you know kind Money, of fame yeah, and all like, of that yeah. yeah give it to all of them i mean they we're all doing a great job mm -hmm. so for those doing skits you see their skits every day Everywhere. for those of us doing the stand-up comedy we'll go for events there is usually this you know five ten minutes um break where yeah. they just want just that touch of you know laughter mm -hmm. just to spice the event we do that a whole lot we organize shows sure, sure. every now and then i mean we're doing a lot to make sure that we help people in the society like mm -hmm. i tell people our job it's kind of you know the job the doctors medical doctors do so you're sick you have this kind of you know um ailment you go to the hospital mm -hmm. you either have operated on you're treated on yeah. and all of that but for us once you're depressed you know you want to find yourself around our space mm -hmm. because we kind of bring some kind of laughter, laughter happiness, happiness to you right. and you just forget about it and you're fine mm -hmm. you know we've continuously done that over the years yeah. you know through skits through stand-up comedies through movies and we're still doing that till tomorrow and um a lot of nigerians had come to realize that no matter how um, depressed you are you can actually find some kind of solace to going to comedy shows so today True. people are doing comedy club there are places in abuja that i know you go to every thursday every friday mm -hmm. it's just like a comedy just club people laugh. just go there and just go to laugh yeah. there are gardens you mm -hmm. know in abuja that they have their shows every wednesday every friday every saturday people just go there and they just want to laugh mm -hmm. so for us we're doing our best and we just hope that our best is appreciated by those that we intend to really Rich, make happy right. you know but most times i mean um not the same country where you did i would say uh -huh. we can't try to even keep our problem <laughs> can't help no you problem, you can still no more forget your problem <laughs> i see leave us now write a petition <laughs> petition to Nubu. what is it we can't kill ourselves for right, you you know true. but i mean we, yeah. we we wish that i mean um the intention is to make everybody right. happy but um we can be 100 percent of course um, um okay to satisfy everybody, everybody right. but in case before we recommend you to tb joshua church but so that you just go there in case you're not still there satisfied just shout man of god help me <laughs> or give one bag of rice 
They give one bag of rice and some tuba of beans. Maybe you'll be okay. You'll be happy. Uh -huh. in the we house. don't have that capacity. Our one is to give you laughter if, and to make you yeah, happy. Right, right, Definitely. right. Okay, yeah. that's actually a good one. I know that you can't please any every everybody Definitely. just as you said. Like what? It, what I'm okay with, the next person might not might find not. it interesting yeah. and all of that. But then, like, it's good because me, I know a lot of times I've been happy, I've found happiness. I've listened to comedies and I'll go on Instagram sometimes when I'm bored. I'm like, let me just go and check maybe Brother Shaggy or anybody. Exactly. Let me just go and just laugh. A lot of them. And there. all of that and feel better. Now, you know, the comedy. Um, aspect of entertainment has really evolved mm -hmm. but then now what i'm really concerned like i'm really concerned about is the fact that i don't know if it's um this is like a dream this is like a focus this is an intention mm -hmm. or it's basically a lot of people maybe they are focusing on just i just want to do it make the money now i we have comedians who, who just want to do it because they know that okay i have certain people who like me who know me let me just do the comedy and it's something that maybe someone has done mm -hmm. and you're coming to do and it doesn't sound interesting to mm -hmm. people and before yeah. you know it people are beginning to put up attitude mm -hmm. and it's getting boring and then i feel is it that those people are just focusing on the money let me just go out and make the money or the passion is i know it's no maybe it's not you mm -hmm. but you know there are, there are different parts to this thing mm -hmm. a lot of people are just focusing okay let me just do it is money and even even musicians there are some at you know that they don't you know this one this one doesn't have to sing mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but then mm -hmm. at the end of the day they are just singing because they are getting money and yeah. all of that so maybe on that you can throw more light on it so we, we have an inside of it in well so summer. funny enough most times it's not even about how good you are that makes you popular you know in all of these things there is a place called grace do you understand yeah right, and right. again um I, I know a lot of guys that have extremely very good mm -hmm. extremely very good and i do that during my show i bring them up and i give them the platform i mean it is very important we, we may all not go to lagos to to make the name and thank right. god social media has helped us a whole lot yeah. wherever you are you can just come and there are also people doing great things on social media right. and they are still not known mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so again going back to your question yes there are people who just feel like ah uh, you know this is actually a problem with nigerians yeah so once it is sachet water that is selling, selling. <laughs> everybody runs everybody to, run to sachet water business True. once bullet season come everybody <laughs> run to bullet very correct do you understand? people right. don't understand that sometimes you need to stick to the what hustle. you know how mm -hmm. to do right. over time it may just be you that will mm -hmm. make it trend, trend right. yeah so people just want to jump into comedy right now because they feel say yesterday we we're having meeting you know so i belong to the abuja body of comedians it's an association okay. we're having meetings and i had that somewhere around this abuja one particular region that they have up more than 200 comedians and i'm like okay 200 200 comedians that's a lot do you understand right I'm not saying that, that I mean, 200, how mm -hmm. do you get? Right. So everybody is just beginning to jump into the industry because they feel like, oh, there is money in comedy. And guess what? They jump into the industry and most of them are coming in to kill the essence of comedy. comedy. Look, the comedy industry is a reputable industry. Mm -hmm. It's an industry that has a lot of value tied to it. It's an industry that is well organized. And so these days you see a young guy. It's an industry that has a lot to do with creativity. Mm -hmm. You just see somebody come up on stage. He doesn't have his own pattern. He just gather people jokes gather people jokes if they talk one from mr a talk one from mr b talk he doesn't have his own original material he's there doing 15 minutes he has not said one thing that is original yeah do you understand right. okay so th there is this my content that i do on like a, like throwback mm -hmm. so i take you to pictures as far back as the 70s and i do a whole lot of analysis about yeah. it right mm -hmm. i knew how many months oh um, almost eight months it took me it took me to put that material together, together. yeah right. and i just realized that 
Someone called me one day like, oh, well, Ghana, I go on sure somebody they use your material. It is painful. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I know it's some comedians that don't joke with it. They can travel from Lagos to beat you if you use their material. <laughs> because it is, yeah, do you understand? Yeah. So people are just coming into the industry, just pitching from other people's material, and mm -hmm. they say they are comedians. Mm -hmm. You go to a garden right now, one comedian is performing from A garden, B garden, C garden. You don't have your material. You're using mm -hmm. people's material. So the industry is saturated with people who are just come to destroy just the money, right? right just, just for them it's just because of the money. Just make the money just because of the money right. and they are killing it mm -hmm. you see comedians these days see they collect 30 50 thousand naira to go perform it's not easy. Come on. Your talent. You it's like, your so talent easy. it's your talent right. people even go and beg for pla i mean i'm not saying it's not right for you mm -hmm. to beg for platform yeah, but, but don't don't make yes. it look like, like there, there are yes. levels to these things <laughs> there are levels to it yeah. there are levels to it right. there are people who had you know tall day and nine mm. did research kudos to people like the agudai yeah. of this world the basket mount of this world the alibaba of this mm. world mm. they've placed us in that level where even at the presidential level they want to see you come to crack jokes so we should give some kind of, you know, regard to this industry. Okay. A lot of people are there just to make money, but the primary intention first, as far as every comedian is concerned, okay. is to satisfy your audience. Then the money will keep coming. Well, that's great. Like, I, I really love that because it's creating so much awareness for people. I can only imagine if, like, myself as a person, I'll pay money to sit somewhere just to laugh and at the end of the day, it's boring. Like, I'll take it personal. Mm. But then, you know, a lot of people don't understand, okay, because he's a comedian and then you just, oh, he made me laugh and everybody wants mm. to jump mm -hmm. into it. I'm like, okay, I want you around me and stuff like that. But I think it, it has created awareness to me and I'm yeah. very sure to the viewers today. And then to round up this moment with you, I just wanted to talk um, um, a little about this. Um, like, see, I don't know how to put it, but you know, there are some comedies that are not appealing to the audience. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, now maybe let's say I'm having a Kaleck mm -hmm. and you're using my Kaleck to do comedy. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's like you're, you're making, you're, you're bringing on my service team, mm -hmm. even though it, I might laugh. Mm -hmm. But trust me, I, there's, what is inside is inside. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think. There, some, some of these things need to be addressed mm. in a way and manner so how do you look out for comedies like that do you get impressed do you do certain things like that do you think it's okay do you think it's fine because you know there's this thing with ay and davido mm -hmm. yeah i know that we don't have time we'll mm -hmm. soon round up mm -hmm. but then there's this thing with ay and davido and afterward when he he did a comedy now now i'm not throwing shades at him mm -hmm. but then he came out and be like oh guy i'm sorry mm -hmm. i didn't i didn't know it was going to get mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. you that way a man yeah. you know so i think things like that should be avoided and in a way a man i think you should say something about it okay well i think that picking up on people is usually not a bad thing you know but don't stay on them I mean, you could just pick up on someone and just throw that. The, you it just fly. leave it. Yeah. And while you're leaving it, try and balance it, right? Yeah. So if I talk about almost your K Lego, it'd be like Masaka Kujero. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Right, it's like you're taking diversion. People people don't laugh, right? Mm -hmm. But if you tell the person again, say, oh, well, now they laugh. You know, say, if Masaka Kujero would not, they're not going to lead you to your village. Exactly. So it also makes sense. Right. I believe, see, as for myself, not worry yourself. I like K Lego people. You know, <laughs> Always balance. I don't have Kaleg. <laughs> but Kaleg is sexy. It's you know? sexy, yeah. Like, it's like, cute. Like, like, um, uh, I, I, Kaleg too sweet. Don't worry yourself. Do you understand? At the end of the day, when you throw those balance it yeah. and move the, the problem i have with a lot of comedians is you throw those things out and because people laugh you want to stay on it yeah. ah you won't continue no right. it becomes an embarrassment mm -hmm. don't stay on it just tap on them you know move ahead balance it move ahead and of course people are out to be happy right they are not out for you to even body shame them and mm -hmm. even make them feel even bad more that than was than the way they came right. do you understand so yeah. for me that's what i think and um um, if if you feel like you you make people angry, correct it on stage. Right. Don't leave them that same that way. way. No. Oh, that's cute. Anyways, so I, I think I appreciate this moment because it's like everything is being is on the table and is well understood, well balanced. It's a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank because you very much. trust me, you put a smile on my face, even though yeah, I know 
I know I was the way I was, and then now I'm a little bit more excited. Mm -hmm. And that is like. And if you follow me, Komoya, you go excited <laughs> more. I promise you. <laughs> okay, that is really great. And trust me, I I want to be around you in a way. I'm man. I like let me just come and love, I love, I love, I love because it's good to love. I want to yeah. be young forever. I don't know if that works, but then to me, it I does. want to be young forever. It does. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. Ka Ghana MC on air personality, um, um, Delta State. And all of that is just a lot, you know. The the only human being that I have seen and know that wore Ghana must go. Yeah. Like, like that is impressing. I, I think I should get a skirt and a crop top from it, it too. It won't be a bad one. One of these days I'll come and I'm call, I'll come and hear on it. So it's a pleasure having thank you. you. And you. for the audience, thank you for joining me on today's episode on Only Share on Global TV. It's Saturday. Make sure you enjoy your day and please you have to be happy. Don't be like me who can go behind behind the doors and then cry or oh, be like me you can cry behind the doors but when you come out just Smart. make sure you are happy well enjoy the rest of your weekend and i guess i hope you have fun today as well have a good day